Now at five, a homicide investigation leads to charges against five suspects in Indianapolis. CBS 4's Jesse Wells explains where police track those suspects down and the charges they now face. Four of the five suspects busted during a raid here at this home behind me on Edgewood Avenue are accused of felony drug possession as well as possession of a machine gun. Police say those charges reflect a dangerous trend, although no one in that group is yet accused of murder. Following a deadly shooting earlier this month, IMPD began searching for two suspects believed to be involved in the homicide. That investigation led police to put this home on Edgewood under surveillance on Sunday. From there, police say six people, including the two main suspects, went to a gun show at the Stoutfield National Guard Armory and police detained all the men as they tried to leave. IMPD SWAT officers then raided the home on Edgewood where they seized various drugs, including 10 pounds of fentanyl-laced pills, along with body armor, a half dozen firearms, and several machine gun conversion devices. That discovery mirrors a growing problem in the city. We're starting to see more and more um, individuals uh, in possession of what we call machine gun conversion devices, and what we know is those, those devices uh, make a, a firearm very dangerous for our community. Police insist machine gun conversion devices like the one seen here make firearms even more deadly because they can fire a lot of rounds in a short amount of time. Hopefully our officers will continue to uh, put a dent in these particular uh, individuals who, who possess these uh, firearms and so that no, we don't want anyone to get hurt. According to court records, 21-year-old William Cornett, 18-year-old Sharon Mills, 20-year-old Michael Smith, and 19-year-old Mackenzie Brown are facing felony drug and weapons charges. A fifth suspect was charged with resisting law enforcement after he allegedly tried to run away from police during the raid on Edgewood. For now, the homicide investigation that sparked that raid officially remains unsolved. Finally, all five suspects have been released from jail as of this afternoon. The four suspects facing felony charges were given a $20,000 bond pending trial. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News.